This is what I've been using for years to put my firewood in before I put it in the uh, wood stove. This is an old Tupperware container. It's not even cool. So, yeah, you know what I'm doing with this project. Time for an upgrade. Dry fitted. Okay, got the uh, three sides of it finished welding up. Finished welding up. And it weren't easy. And it's time to get organized before I go any further. I just got to organize. I can't find anything because everything's laying everywhere. This is part two from the last video uh, when I found those rods with the nuts welded on the end of them. It's part two. Yeah, I, I know my videos aren't that organized or the as like most people's are, but I don't really, it's just the way, the way I do things. I got everything laying everywhere. Now I lost my keys. Had to change the uh, blades on both my saws. I guess that costs money. But I'm going to weld them onto my steam pump chest. So it's worth it. Now I have to cut steel. I really don't like doing this because it makes a mess. It's usually never right. I end up having to grind and... But metal is very forgiving. And I like working with it. If you haven't figured that out. So we'll cut some more steel. Get the last side done. Put the bottom in. Figure out what we're going to do with the top.
this went in a lot better than that because doing that made it easier to figure out this which is a perfect fit what you're gonna do with your project you know like the other side it took like I would say four or five times longer to do that side than it did to do this side because I knew what I was doing with this side so that was nice this went fast this side and I like it you see how it kind of showcases these uh, bolts of course it's upside down right now I turn it right right side up. There, you couldn't even tell the difference between upside down and right side up, could you? All right, now I'm going to put uh, some designs in here. Oh, I'm not done. Even though it's looking good, it may not look it, but it's cold out. But well, I got a two by two piece of steel I want to cut. And I don't want to do it inside. It just leaves too too much of a mess. So I'm going to cut this piece out here. Seems like my cleanup takes longer than the build. All right, that's the bottom. So I just this Steel is still freezing cold, so I want the steel to heat up a little bit. I'll probably get the heat gun and make it go a little faster. But, uh... We'll just get it welded on there. And then figure out what we're going to do with the top. We're definitely not going to put a lid on this like I've been doing in the past because I got an actual use for this. Well, I have actual use for all of them, but for this one, I had something in mind that a lid would just get in the way. All right, 
I got her clamped down, got my swivel chair, my ventilator ready to go. I'm ready to put the bottom on. I also found these heavy duty casters. They're not all swivels, so at least I have two, so that'll that'll work. Might as well use up what we have. Even still, I got a ways to go. I have to cut a lot more metal. I mean, a lot more. So, you know what that means, don't you? Part three's coming up. See y'all then. Thanks for watching. I got this little, I don't know what it is, but it was at the secondhand store, thrift store, for like a quarter or something. Because nobody wanted it, except for me. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. can think of stuff like that. Now I'll know where they're at when I need them. Got everything cleaned up. Ready to finish working on it tomorrow or whenever. Now we just have to get comfy.